right, right here is your propane tank. So usually you just lift off this, uh, this, uh, this right here, and then you're gonna have your two tanks inside. You're going to, there's a, there's a valve, and you'll turn the valve on, and then there's an arrow. You're gonna point it towards one tank or the other. You just wanna make sure it's pointing at the tank that you're using. Uh, right here on the back side is the battery. Uh, hopefully you never need to get in there, but it is there in case you do. And then right here we have your stabilizer jack. Every corner has one. Inside the storage compartment here, you're going to find a little hand crank. It just cranks down. All that does is stabilize the RV so it doesn't wobble on you uh, when you're walking inside. So this is a large storage area. Um, uh, you have all your gear in here. You're going to have your water hose, your sewer hose, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, just, uh, just to make sure you return all of our gear. This has a large awning. It's electric with a button inside. It's going to operate it. Just make sure that you don't leave this out when it's rainy or windy or anything. This is a giant kite. You don't want to break it. They are expensive. Um, and we recommend if you're not if you're not literally sitting underneath it, go ahead and have it closed. Don't go get on your your bike and go for a ride or anything like that. Uh, just anytime you're using this, um, just be sitting underneath it. Um, right here is the stairs. To operate these, you just grab the little hand crank here, you'll pull it down, and then each one of these legs is adjustable. And uh, you wanna make sure you set those at the right height uh, so that when you go to close the door, it is able to close, because if it's too high or it's not level, uh, you won't be able to actually close the door. So make sure you do that. And then when you go to close the steps up, just make sure your door is all the way open here. You're gonna lift it up. You don't want this little piece right here to hit the door. So you wanna just go ahead and lift it in, and then just go like that and close it. And then this right here is also to help you stabilize yourself when you walk in and up and down the stairs. But we also like people to go ahead and flip it over like this when you're traveling so the door doesn't pop open on you. Uh, right here are a couple of electrical outlets. Remember, anytime you're camping or wanting to use electrical, you do need power. So you'll need to be plugged in at the park or running a generator to be able to use these outlets. There are a couple hot water, there's a hot water exhaust and a heater exhaust right here and over there. These can get warm. You don't want to lean your gear against it or anything. And then right here is a nice little outdoor prep area. If you have an outdoor uh, refrigerator, just remember this one does not work off of gas. You do need to be plugged in at the park running it uh, to make it operate. And then you do have a couple outlets and then a nice little tray that slides out. We do rent some grills that'll sit on this tray or if you want to use your own grill or something, it's a nice little setup for when you're cooking outside. We do have a spare tire in this unit right here. Hopefully you never need it, but it is located here. And then as we come around the side, this is your power outlet. This is where you're going to plug in uh, right here. This will plug in at the RV park or you'll run the extension cord over to the generator through this plug. Um, underneath is your, your dump area. You have your black and gray water dump valves. The, uh, the black handles right here, that's for the sewage. And then the gray ones right here, that's for like the dirty shower water or the sink water. Uh, we always recommend you, you do the black one first and then you open up the gray one and it kind of cleans out the hose. Now to use your water, there's a black one right here, a, a plug-in. This is for when you're at an RV park and you have uh, city water. So you can plug in with a hose here. There's one above it that's orange, and this one above it is for cleaning out that black water tank when you go to dump it. So you just hook your hose on here, make sure that that black valve is open before you start adding water, um, and then that'll help clean out the black water tank, okay? You do not wanna mix those up. You wanna make sure you're using the black one if you're at the RV park, uh, not the orange one, okay? You have a large slide out here. It comes out about three or four feet. Just make sure there's no trees or anything or a car parked next to you when you slide the slide out out. Um, you don't want to hit it or scratch it or anything. Um, and then you do have your fresh water tank here. This is where you're gonna fill. You do want to watch the gauge from inside the RV. Uh, in, the, in the bathroom there, you can watch the gauge as you fill it. You don't want to overfill that tank. And then lastly, if you're headed home for the day and uh, you want to dump that water so you don't have to carry the weight, the fresh clean water, there's a valve right here, you pull it and that'll drop all your fresh clean water so you don't have to tow it home with you. All right, let's go on inside and take a look. Right here is the slide out button. If you push this button up, that slide out's gonna slide out. Just make sure whenever you're operating the slide that nothing's in the way outside there. It's usually good if you have a spotter. You do have a little light here and then this button right here is for the electric awning. Once again, just make sure on the awning, if you're not sitting underneath it, have it closed. You don't want the wind to come and tear it off or anything like that. This has a nice sink area um, right here. And then below that you have your stereo system and a couple outlets. 
Um, you have uh, your two stove top burners right here and then a nice microwave here. Uh, next, we're gonna go over the um, dinette and how to convert that into a sleeping area. So right here, all you need to do is lift the tabletop off, you remove the two poles, and then if you look right here, there's some grooves. You're gonna drop the table and you're gonna put it right on top of these two grooves and then you can use the uh, two other cushions to make another sleeping area here. One thing I also wanna go over with you is the lights. Uh, each light is operated by a button that's right in the middle of this light. So just reach up, you'll push right on there. They're kind of hard to see, it blends in. So if you don't know to push it there, you wouldn't know how that's how to operate the lights. Above me here is the air conditioning unit. All you need to do is reach up and turn it on high cool right here. It's pretty simple. Just remember any major appliance like the air conditioner or the microwave, you do need the generator running or you do need to be plugged in at an RV park to make it work. Uh, right here is your uh, refrigerator. Just be really careful of these handles. We've had a few people uh, pull on these and rip them off. Uh, they are about $50 each, so just make sure you don't yank on these. You know, you get your teenager and he just yanks it open to get some food. Um, anyways, you just pull it and then open it. And then right here is the on off switch. And then there's another one here that says gas and auto. Um, if you're dry camping, you're gonna leave this out for gas. And if you're gonna be camping at a park, uh, you can just leave it on auto. I'm gonna rotate you around here and show you where the heater's at right here on the wall. There's a switch on top, and then there's another switch on the very bottom underneath it. The top one turns it on, and then the bottom one actually controls the temperature. And then we have a couple nice bunks right there. Each one of those bunks has their own little sleeping area, and um, they have their own light uh, there as well. Uh, as we go into the bathroom, there is a foot pedal to flush. Just make sure you, you hold that down for about five seconds when you use the restroom. Uh, that way it, uh, you'll have enough water in the toilet to help suppress some of the smells. Uh, on the wall is our water pump and our tank levels. As we talked about outside, when we fill up, we wanna make sure uh, we don't overfill that fresh water tank. And then right below there, we have an electric water heater and a gas water heater. So if you're dry camping, you'll use the gas one. And if you're plugged in at a park, you can use the, the um, electric. One thing I wanna also go over is just like your house, you do have a breaker box in here, uh, some breaker switches and things. Those are located right down here. Uh, hopefully you never need to use anything, but it's good to know where that's located. Now, um, we're excited to see you. If you have any additional questions, just keep those in mind. So when you come, you can ask us and we'll see you soon. Thanks.